Hey guys, here are the quick fire questions for AQA Chemistry, Chemistry of the Atmosphere. If you want a hard copy of these questions so we can fill them in together as we're going along, you can pop up to my website and get that there. How much oxygen is there in the atmosphere today? 21%. How much carbon dioxide is there in the atmosphere today? 0.04%. How much nitrogen is there in the atmosphere today? 78%. How was the early atmosphere different to today's atmosphere? There was more carbon dioxide and methane and less oxygen and nitrogen. What led to an increase in oxygen in the atmosphere? That was G to photosynthesis. What well, led to an increase in nitrogen in the atmosphere? Nitrogen was increased due to the breakdown of ammonia and methane. I'll give two things that led to a decrease in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Um, it dissolved in the oceans and it got locked up in rocks. What are three greenhouse gases? Carbon dioxide, methane and water. How do greenhouse gases interact with radiation? The radiation causes the bonds to vibrate as they absorb and release um, heat energy. What does an increased level of these gases in the atmosphere have to do with the climates? It changes the climates because it traps heat in, um, which means some places are going to get hotter, some places are going to get colder, some places are going to get wetter, and some places are going to give drier, get drier. Give two activities that lead to an increase in the level of carbon dioxide gas, greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. burning fossil fuels, and deforestation. What are the predictions of the effects of greenhouse gases on future temperature levels? There is going to be a massive increase. To find the term carbon footprint, that is the amount of um, carbon that is given out based on your daily activities. What are the major sources of atmospheric pollution? So that is going to be um, power stations, cars. Um, what effect does carbon dioxide have on the atmosphere? It traps in radiation, causing things to get warmer. What effect does sulfur dioxide have on the atmosphere? That is going to lead to acid rain. Water vapour and carbon monoxide are both greenhouse gases. So they're going to trap radiation. Nitrogen oxides are also greenhouse gases, but they are very, very efficient. They're much um, better at trapping heat than carbon dioxide. And while I say they're very good at trapping heat, that is a bad thing. We don't want them to be good at trapping heat. What effect do carbon particles have on the atmosphere? That is going to be global dimming. 
pom-pom particles are like soot and it's like um, putting a big veil over the earth. We can't see the sun. What effect does pollution have on humans? If we think about air pollution, that's the stuff we breathe in. So it's going to lead to um, an increase in um, asthma and problems with your lungs. We could have water pollution, which means our water supplies or even our food supplies aren't clean. Um, pollution have on plants, again that is going to be air, but mainly water. Um, if there is um, a change in the water, it might become too acidic or it might have the wrong level of nutrients in, then the plants are going to find it really hard to survive. And what effect does pollution have on animals? Um, this is possibly one of the most noticeable effects. If you um, have studied the case of the moths, where they actually had to change colour when the trees went from being white trees and we had white moths and white trees which were camouflage when pollution came in and the trees turned from white to black because they were covered in soot the white moths were then very very visible which left them um, vulnerable to predators the, they then had to evolve to become black moths so that they could hide on the trees so this is driving evolution Obviously, that is a long-term, um, rather drastic change. In the short term, um, things like acid rain are going to affect them because um, it's going to affect the plants. And again, um, the levels of nutrients and the cleanliness and availability of water is going to affect how much an animal can survive.